the what? church, and uh, they were all wearing masks, like Guy Fawkes masks and like Darth Vader stuff and like, cool. you know, just any old thing they could find. And uh, they was all chanting like, uh, what was on their thing? I'm trying to remember. Um, no, not that. Oh, it was uh, no tax exempt status for a cult. That was the big thing that was on all their signs. And they had like a website. I'm wondering who runs it. It Pro sounds like some, it some rival religion or the Catholic Church it or something. Is. <laughs> Guess who it is. Who is it? We should run a contest to see. Okay. Well, I haven't even looked into it. I just, that was like a happy thing oh, well, about, I haven't either. about being guessing. stuck on the bus. I'm just guessing. <laughs> For, because of all the South by Southwest traffic. I got to see the... Scientology protests for quite a while while we were sitting there. So do you think that they were bust in or they were all like here from another? I, I don't know. A lot of them look like they was kids. You know? Maybe they hired them because they, it sounds like maybe Scientology hired them to give them some, you know, Some press. publicity. Well, you know. all the outsiders, you know, from out of town. They came out that with that report that the, the anti-Semitism is up. Right. You know, so it, it's a... Uh, might as well jump on the bag bandwagon. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what they pretty much said was that now that hard times are coming, social programs are going to pretty much... Social... No, they said social progress was not going to happen. In the slaughter in the, area. In the slaughterhouse. Right. Okay, that's already smelling wonderful. And to this, I'm just going to add um, some mushrooms and garlic and some uh, little tiny bit of coconut milk I got left over, and that'll add some sweetness and fat, and then some water. And then just kind of, you know, let it stew up and cook it real slow, and then everything will be real tender and delicious. What the hell is this? It's quinoa, I told you. Oh, weird. That's I have, weird I have stuff. some information on quinoa. Don't y'all forget to well, tell, tell me. Now. Well, okay, ask me a question. I gotta get my notes. I got my my magic. Can you say, can we say what it is? No, because there's a trademark on it. Okay. Okay. Ask it a question. Um, um, okay, okay. Um, who's the next um, nationally known political figure to be uh, brought down as a distraction patsy? It's a good question. Oh no! Do I have to answer? Do a yes or no question for yes. the magic? Oh well. Oh no! Shit. They have lots of different uh, oh, really? answers besides yes and no. Oh, they do. Yeah. Well, okay. There. I think it's like a fancy one. That's why it's like UT Orange. Maybe. Okay. I'll rephrase my question. In the next, in the next week. These are good. I'll say week. In the next week, will there be another nationally known political figure brought down in some kind of sting Ooh. as a distraction patsy engineered by the man? I don't know. That might be a little vague. Nah. In the next week? Like Spitzer? I'll give Spitzer as an example. Elliot Spitzer, governor it of New York. says, my replies gloomy. Oh, so we're going to wait until next month. Well, see, doing a bigger thing like, well, what about in a month? Right. Or you could ask a different question. I'll ask a different one. That was kind of complicated. Um, They're probably just going to hammer on all the old ones. Okay. How about, will there be a local band from South by Southwest that gets their big break? They always tout that is the reason to have this fucking nightmare of a festival. When it's supposed to be quiet because all the students is gone. But they had to ruin that week in the middle of spring when it's nice and you can go out and not be, like, surrounded by young people. And it's it's just like there's a South Park about this, about some people from L.A. turning, like, every mountain town into mm -hmm. a freaking place where all the creepy L.A. people are right. for, like, a week. So will there be, because that's what they say, oh, you know, it's for the local bands to, like, get recognized. It's a racket. Right, because there's probably hardly any local bands actually playing shows where record, record company executives would be. No, it's all just a big ad. Mm-hmm. So anyway, will there be a band that gets uh, their big break 
from the 2008 South by Southwest from Austin. Look, it's like an eye. Oh, what does it say? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> that couldn't have come out better. No. Unfortunately, yes. That makes me curious as to what band is going to hit it big. Well, let's ask. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be able to tell you. They you don't have know. band names in there. They might. They're probably just going to watch this show and then make it up. <laughs> it's miserably correct. That's, ah. a, that's a really shitty band name. It's a weird band name. But it's a funny concept. It sounds like correct. something a man would come up with, though. Mm -hmm. Like the Rolling Stones. Well, I guess while I'm, I'm old white man came up with that name. Letting that stuff kind of brown up a little. Well, that was amusing. I'm going to work on my, my garlic. I'm going to put in quite a few cloves of garlic because that's really going to be the main seasoning. I'm going to throw some mushrooms in there and also probably at the end I'm going to steam some green beans so that we can have that and I'll just throw those on top. But um, yeah, I think that's probably pretty good. And the thing that I'm going to do different about this is I'm going to just uh, maybe have these or third them for the big one and then uh, just throw them in the pan so they're big hunks of garlic. It'll lend their flavor to the, to the uh, water, but it'll also be nice and, and uh, tender and sweet when you put it in your mouth to eat because all the bitterness is kind of cooked off. Well, yeah. you know, I heard that the, these things have the same thing in them as this like nerve gas. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. And it's supposed to do the same thing in your body. But um, maybe we could learn how to make some kind of like poison gas with them. Mm-hmm. I just want to crush them a little bit. Oh, so that they release their juices. Oh, look, I, my pants came in and snapped. That's the bad it's, thing about a waistband snap. It's it's all of the Your exhaling and gut inhaling. Gut ends up like do. sucking it out. It's much better to have buttons as an adult. If yes. you're a child. If you're a child, then, uh, let's see if I can do it without snapping my snap. Oh, God damn it. I was so fucking close. That's why mine's a nice adult <sighs> belt. Only I mean, children should have snaps okay, in I their have, britches I do and skirts. Snap. I do have a snap. Uh-huh. But do you have a button, too? Yes. It's okay to have a snap. If there's a backup button. There's a backup button. Yeah, but if there's just no backup button. But you know why it might be like that? Because this is actually a designer piece oh, that yeah. I picked up. And you know, them designers always assume somebody as skinny is going to be wearing their shit. So they don't design it for people with extra flesh. They only want skinny people to wear their shit. Yeah, that's some designers a, won't like know. design above like a size 10. They won't even like make clothes. It's too hard. Everything's gonna look crappy. Mm. That's because they're all like they have like that lookism thing where they think that fat people aren't beautiful. Mm-hmm. Well, you know that whole the uh, Venus of uh, Willendorf or whatever that ancient statue they oh, found. Oh yeah. That they always. That's a fatty. Right. She's a big old gal. Little fatty. Right. Oh, I have a theory about that, though. Mm. Do tell. Well, I was thinking, now, why would people, especially men, mm -hmm. up and start worshiping and carrying around a little fat-looking giant boob woman? At the same time, they're grooming them to be successful and powerful. And if they end up displeasing the master organization or if they're you know, just not needed anymore. If they need a distraction, they'll just pull the plug on that whole thing and then, you know, it's it comes good. out. And then the public does the condemning. I think they know he's, this is my thing. I think they know he's smart. 
Mm. So they're still going to use his intellect, mm -hmm. but now it's on their, the man's terms. Yeah. You know, he's not going to be the star he was going to be and all mm -hmm. that. They basically cut his legs out from under him and said, okay, now you're going to help us do take over the world. Right. You know?